waste of chicken and jello if you ask me but um <laughs> we're gonna see as i'm done i'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the fridge and see what magic happens overnight all right looks good happy new year's guys it's 2024 today's the first and i'm going to be trying out some of this I've heard the hype for years now, and I honestly don't feel like going to several places and getting bait, and my bait tank is getting low. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go have some fun, see if I get some bites off this stuff. Okay guys, so I'm gonna also go to Bass Pro. I'm running low on hooks, and so I'm gonna go ahead and see what they have. And so I'm gonna go there. Also, I'm gonna bring my brand new monster rod that I have not used yet. Um, I've already got two that I'm using. And so I wanted to kind of have a, you know, kind of throw a different brand in there. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, le leave them in the comments below of what you guys like. And I want to try and I want to kind of mix it up a little bit. And this guy, John, he's a subscriber. I'm going to go meet him at Bass Pro right now also. And um, he's going to try out what Tingling with Catfish is all about also. So. There it is. Oh, the wonderful world of outdoor supplies. Outdoor world, yeah. So what kind of, what other like rods do you guys I got you some have? mad cats. I can use this for definitely the uh, lake. You know, let me know about what you think about that pole. I will. I actually might go to Lacine now. Um, I forgot about the, the warm water outlet there. I'm walking in, I'm gonna see what kind of hooks they've got. Um, ask them about this reel. Um, but yeah, here I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip out on Caw Point tonight, and I'm gonna go to Lay Scene where the the hot water outlet is. There, I'm lost. Someone just took my reel to see if they have anything in the back. They might be able to have a tension knob. Oh, because I'm looking at man the prices. So we got the, the double action. It's only an eight aught. Eight aught with quantity nine for fourteen ninety nine. I think I'm gonna go with what I normally do guys. I've been able to uh, Have pretty good luck with these and they're only 649 so I'm gonna go see if uh, He's found anything for that reel. That'd be awesome Sage. Thank you so much. Look what he did here guys He found a tension knob That fits and he also fixed This handle with a new handle and hardware for free So here's that Here's my, there's what I was working with before. Sage, you're awesome. Shout out. Come to Lay the Bass Pro. They're nice. Oh, I got a long line here. All right, guys. I've made it to Lay Scene, the hot water outlet. And of course, it's about to get dark. So I guess I'm going to go on a little bit of walk. I'm already winded. <laughs> this isn't bad, guys. Um. Just got a little path I'm following here. Kind of glad that I hit it. I, I got here a little bit before dark, but um, whew. looks kind of nice out there. There's several other cars here, so I'm sure there's other people here fishing it also. So let's see what we got when we get there and wish me luck with this chicken. Now I was told I was told to cast inside these buoys over here, but that's there's not much room in there at all. Plus there's other guys here fishing. I'm gonna have to go check this out. All right, this is it. Lacine's hot water outlet. got here right before dark so I'm gonna get set up rigged up with some of this chicken and see how it, see how it works all right guys so they're all gonna head on out they did a they caught a whole bunch of crappie it leaves me with all this right here um, only thing is, is this fence right here actually oh there's a hole down there at the bottom of the fence if we got a big one you can go down to the bottom of the fence maybe so I'm gonna get the poles out there 
So I got all the poles here already rigged up and baited up. Um, this one is just a regular jello and chicken. Um, this one, as you can see, it's got the um, added garlic in it. And I went along with another garlic one over here. So, see how these guys do. All right, guys. So the bait's in the water and so I'm getting a bite here. Oh, there's a bite. Ooh, nice. A pretty good bite on that one. I'm not sure with this chicken though, as sometimes if it's gonna, if it can stay on good, but feels like I'm getting strong bites. Definitely on all rods. All rods seem to be getting some sort of action. I might have, I, I might have made the, the pieces too big, but we'll find out here real soon. Feel like something's pulling down on this one. No, they're they're definitely interested in the chicken. Oh, see now. Big one's getting some action. Guys, right now I'm getting bites on every single rod. It is cold out here though. I'm not sure exactly what temperature the water is here, but I know it's called the, this is where the warm water leaves the plant. And so it heats the water up. So far, I've gotten bites on every single rod, uh, but it just doesn't seem like anything wants to take it. Um, I might try, I might try cutting the bait a little bit smaller, but we'll see. Ooh, getting some good bites there. I think we got something that wants it here. chicken jello uh actually yeah this was no garlic with this but catching these little guys that was probably the reason look how the size of the hook i'm using here so you can see that's pretty big but A nice, nice little channel, but he was active very like the way he was acting in the water. I would have thought he was like half this size. I mean, this isn't a terrible size, but hey, chicken works. Some raccoons over here. I gotta keep on get. Uh, I got to keep on chasing them away because they uh, keep coming up and stealing my chicken. So 
Uh, I know the raccoons like it. All right, guys, so I'm heading home. Uh, it seemed like the bike got turned on like a little bit late. And I had been here for a while. I just had to get out of there, guys. Um, I didn't realize it was 22 degrees out there. And um, man, I, I'm wearing, I'm still wearing three coats. After that last channel, I actually caught two more channel catfish within like five to 10 minutes. And so um, it must've been a timing thing or I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think this is like the best test with the the chicken Kool-Aid uh, Jello mix, um, but I had to try it out. I know I didn't choose the best day or even the, maybe the right spot. I thought with the the hot water coming out right there, I hear a lot of good things about Lay's scene, and so you know I did catch three three fish there. I got one snagged on a rock. So everybody's doing these videos and. I didn't want to just film another video, um, but actually I wanted to try it out and see how it was. And you know, it actually it didn't disappoint. Like if I if I couldn't get bait at one of my bait spots, um, this would possibly be something I do. I don't know. I'm really just kind of stuck in my ways with you know using a cast net, using fresh bait, um, using live bait, um, cut baits, um, different things like that, but. Um, I'm totally not counting this out. It's perfect, especially if you're gonna take the family out, you don't have time to go get bait. So I wasn't able to get those other catfish on film because I didn't realize it was 22 degrees out and my batteries were dying super fast and also my, the lens was like frosted over. That is me testing out the chicken bait. There's a lot of different factors, place, weather, time of year. If it's summer, that'd be awesome.